Hey, it's Clay. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to another video. This is going to be a shootout between three of these audio interfaces. Uh, I Audio interface is probably one of the more central, crucial components to the home record recording setup. Um, just a hobbyist, do this for fun, but I really like getting the best tone quality I possibly can. Um, I got a lot of other imperfections. You know, I have an imperfect room and I have imperfect time and I have um, imperfect skills, but I still like to get the best, po best possible quality result I can. So hopefully this comparison can help you if you are looking to um, achieve something similar. Three interfaces that we're going to look at today are the Behringer UMC 204 HD, the Focusrite Scarlet 2i2, and the Audient ID22. Um, I have spent a lot of time with the Focusrite, a uh, moderate amount of time with the Behringer, and the Audient is brand new to me. Uh, this is probably one of the first recordings I'm doing with it. Um, the recording I'm going to try to capture today for comparison's sake is going to be using the Stratocaster plugged into a looper pedal, and I'm going to loop uh, like a simple rhythm guitar part. And then that is going to go into my Plexi clone, into a, um, a WGS G12C speaker, mic with this AKG C214 microphone XLR cable into the audio interface. And the reason that I'm doing that is because I can set the looper and the microphone and all the other gear in such a way that it creates a perfect constant so that the only variable being changed from one to another is the interface. Um, so all I'm doing is playing the looper. Not, you know, so even little differences in my playing or little differences in the microphone are not going to come into effect. Um, so hopefully you guys should be able to hear it. Now, what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to do a blind ABY test and I'm going to play through the clips um, one time through and give you guys a chance to, to pause it and come back look look at it and um, maybe cast a vote down in the comment section below. Then after that, um, we'll check in, we'll see how we're going from there. Uh, now's the opportunity to go ahead and take a listen down below uh, as to what the your guess is as to what those three clips are. If you want to go and listen to them again, go right ahead. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and reveal it in three, two, one, bam. So on the screen now, you should be seeing the test results. Uh, I had a chance to listen myself, and um, I'll just give you my personal subjective opinions. Uh, I was listening on headphones on my computer, and um, I could notice a slight increase in detail going from the Behringer to the Audient. Um, but honestly, I thought it was pretty darn close. And I think that the takeaway for me is to buy an audio interface based on features and usability, things like the number of inputs and outputs that you need, the ability to interface with the gear you need, things like pads, 
um, the way that it mixes the dry and the input signal, the way it does headphones, you know, does it have an insert, does it have MIDI? Those kind of questions are really the ones that you need to ask when you're asking about an audio interface. Asking about tone quality is going to get a lot more splitting hairs. Um, you know, it's possible if you're using better gear and you're a better um, person than I am and you're making more detailed recordings that, you know, the quality is really a part of the, the final product, then maybe the better interface is really going to pay off. But um, based on what I'm hearing, I'm not hearing a dramatic difference in quality between these three interfaces. So, um, you know, look, this little Behringer, this thing was like 60 bucks um, shipped to my door. The 2i Scarlet 2i2 was a little bit more than that, and the audience was a fair bit more than that. So um, certainly make your own purchasing decisions, but um, again, I'm going to come back to it and just say from my personal opinion that the proof is in the pudding, and when I listen to these in a blind test, I don't hear a massive difference. Not to say there's no difference, but I don't hear a massive difference. Um, Lastly, I'm going to go ahead and play these clips a couple more times just so that you can really hear them back to back and I'm going to list them on the screen so it's no longer blind. But um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know your comments and your thoughts down below. Um, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.